What's going on, party people? Ladies and genitals, yes, it has happened. Bungie has apologized for the state of Destiny 2 at launch. Well, not so much Bungie as one of their lead developers, Josh Hamrick. This kid named Jacob basically shits all over his happy day when he's saying, I'm so excited about Warmind. Jacob then has to post this text, basically tell him to eat shit, his game sucks, nobody likes him. Josh responds, I honestly understand why you feel that way, Jacob. I'm sorry we let you down. We're working our asses off to turn it around and bring the hobby back, though. I feel like the last few updates have really started to change that, and I believe the future is bright. I hope you can join us. So, for some people, they're just saying, you know, like, it's too late to say sorry. I'm asking more than my hobby. Okay, yeah, I definitely can't sing, but I'm just trying to get the point across. That is what some people are thinking. But I'm kind of curious, to the, those of us who are kind of playing Warbind right now, we're kind of enjoying the quest, you know, we're going through, we're doing secret shady, you know, squirrel stuff. I don't think we had to have that, really. I mean, I think it was pretty, it went without saying. I know some people appreciate it, but I feel like the trolls who are just going to, like, write someone, like, hey, your game is shit. That kind of a person, uh, I don't think he cares if he's like, dude, my bad, we made a mistake. So let's be honest, there has to be an asshole here somewhere, right? Josh is basically saying, we, like the normal developers here at this company, we were trying to make something good, but someone decided to take that away from us and, you know, move the game in their own direction. And everyone knows, what do you do, what's the first thing you do when you see an asshole? Nope, not that guy, it's something else. I'm not talking about poking it. So, what needs to happen is, whoever this asshole was, obviously, they messed up a game that a lot of us liked. You know, they just need to get rid of that one asshole. The whole community would be much more happy. But the thing is, I feel like Warmind has moved us in a really good direction. I mean, no, it's not like the end of Destiny 1 was, of course not, of course it's not there, but it's fun, they have things to collect, I'm having a good time with my brohemes, do you guys know what I'm saying? So, for me, I appreciate that Josh is coming out saying, hey dudes, you know, I'm sorry the game sucked at the beginning of the year, we're trying to make it better, you know, we need some time to get it back there, and I know some people are like, well, they've been saying that since Destiny 1, Coop, Coop, they've literally been saying that for over 3, 4 years, they have plenty of time to do this, well, you know what, guys, why don't y'all go try to make a video game, I'm guessing it would not go that well, let's be honest, here's what we're mad about, it's like if someone is painting, uh, you know, you, you hired them to paint you some art for your house. And then they bring it to you and you don't like it. So you don't just attack like their style, like, man, this style sucks. You kind of attack their character. Like, man, you are a demented ass painter. You are a worthless piece of garbage. You should have been aborted. That's how people are acting about Destiny 2. Now, I understand there's a personal connection, guys. I get it. There's a personal connection between players and their video games. It's like your girlfriend. Or what are the kids saying today? Your bae? It's like B-E-A or B-A-E or something like that. That's what it is for a lot of people, you know, so it's something close to them. They have a lot of good fond memories with them and their buddies playing these games. So when someone comes along and jacks it up, they feel they take it personally. So I do understand. I understand why people are upset. I understand the people who are critiquing the game, trying to get it to a better place. And that's where I feel like I know. That's the whole reason I kind of started this channel along with my Warframe channel was because I really like Destiny and I wanted to be, um, there, there, there just seems to be two sides of the camp, either a totally negative camp or, you know, the totally over the top positive camp. You know, it's kind of like a Trump supporter and a Hillary supporter, you know, those two parties are not going to get along and in fact they just kind of hate each other and uh, there's not a lot of room for reasonable discussion if, if you're having to defend your ideas also. So that's where the whole part purpose of this channel is so everyone can have a voice, everyone can talk about whatever they feel about the game and no one's going to be getting shut down or banned I mean unless you're being a total douche you know like you know calling your mom fat or something like that if you're not doing that you're going to be just fine posting I like hearing the comments about what people don't like about the game um, about improvements we're making together I feel like we're coming a long way anyways guys that is my thoughts on this just leave me a little comment and let me know I'm kind of just curious how you guys feel about this apology for you was it enough you know, did, did it make any difference at all? 
or do you still just think Bungie's out there trying to steal your money and Tess Eververse is like the nastiest thing since the snake in the Garden of Eden? Is that how you're feeling or are you just more like, you know, you know, I appreciate, you know, his candor, appreciate him, you know, having the balls to say, you know, yeah, I messed up, bro. We messed up bad, but we're trying to fix it, bro. You know what I'm saying, guys? All right. Peace.